Hi guys, it's Allison, and today here with me, I'm joined by. Mud. Hello. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say my name and then. No, you're all good. You're all good. Um, but anywho, for those of you that don't know, Madi is a student here at WJ. Duh, he's a senior, and he also creates music. He's an artist. Why don't you tell them a little bit about that? Um. Yeah. So I like started it like off in eighth grade, and I didn't like it that much. And then I was not going to do it until, like, my friend ended up buying me a mic out of nowhere around, I want to say, sophomore year. Mm -hmm. And then that's when I started, like, actually taking it seriously. Right. And before that, when you were, like, in eighth grade, what did you record on? <laughs> I recorded in my room, like, and I had to tape, like, Apple headphones in a closet. It was ghetto. It was not. <laughs> it was it was down bad. And, I, like, I would just, like, record on GarageBand. Right. And then, yeah. So who created the beats back then? Back then, it would either it would just be YouTube beats, like okay. it would just be YouTube beats, and then it like upgraded to like my friend Jordan. And I met he's like my best friend now. I met him, and then like he said he made beats, and mm -hmm. I like I you know did the vocals. So he was like he just started making me a bunch on GarageBand, right. and they came out pretty good. His beats, not my voice, his beats. Um, and you said you got a microphone by a friend. Like, do you want to talk about? Yeah, this friend so I was um two friends. Two so friends. I was um. I was about to give up because, like, I didn't really like the sound of, like, how it, like, you know, came out. And then my friend was like, hold on. Like, I'll be right back. And then, like, he talked to, like, my friend Eduardo and Jude. My birthday's in February. It was, like, right. June. And they, oh. gave, they gave me a late birthday present, and it was, like, a mic. Happy late birthday, then. Yeah. Oh, it's kind of cute. Um, anywho, now you create music on this, like, it's more advanced technology, I would yeah. say. Do you want to talk about, like, what that is? Yeah, so first I would just release on YouTube. Then I upgraded to, like, soundcloud but i didn't want to just be like only on soundcloud because right. not everybody uses soundcloud so mm -hmm. like i like saved up money and got like this thing called like distro kid which like releases it every single year if you pay some money and then like you have the thing is you have to pay it oh, every single okay. year because if you don't it's going to take everything down oh that's wait like, are you serious yeah like that's everything? like the bad thing yeah or you can do leave a legacy which means that you can keep the song up but you have to do like 50 dollars. oh each song oh yeah it'd be a lot of money it's pretty, like, bad, but, like, it works. So it, works. It, it works. It does the job. It gets the job done. Um, what inspired you to start music? Uh, back when I was living in Jersey City, um, like, my dad used to play Michael Jackson a lot. And then I would, like, record a bunch of videos on my dad's computer. I still have them. It was just, like, me singing every single Michael Jackson song. Then I upgraded to Justin Bieber. I didn't say this last <laughs> time. But there was some Justin Bieber. There was, I, I can't lie. And then... Justin Bieber jumped into Eminem when he dropped I'm Still Afraid. I don't like Eminem now. Right. I just like his old songs. Just can't and, and then Lil Wayne. And then um, just like a bunch of, like I had a train phase when I was little. Oh. Like I used to listen to train a lot. And then. Okay. Um, yeah. It's just like, I don't know. Like I listen to like everything. Right. And this is, you said you used to live in Jersey City. Yeah. So when you moved here, would you say you became more like yeah. into music? I think so. I was older. There was like you know, trending songs out, and, like, a lot of people were, like, were into music, too. Mm -hmm. And then what really, like, inspired me, like, start, like, making, like, actual, like, like, songs, like, not just, like, rap, is the movie, I forgot to mention this last time, the movie Lemonade Mouth. I don't know if you guys know that movie. <laughs> yeah, I know. You know that movie? It's, like, the, yeah, yeah I was, like, yo, like, these songs yeah. are hard, like, and then yeah. I just started, like, I memorized all the lyrics to, like, their songs. <laughs> I used to watch it, like, it was what my was favorite it? Disney Determinate? movie. Determinate? Yeah, Determinate, <laughs> like... The last song they played was so bad, though. But everything which else was, was good. One? The one where they like won the championship. Oh yeah, that one was like lame. You know which one got me? The one where they were like singing to her because she her cat, her, her died. cat died. I was that like, was, that was, was so in sad. My feels. I literally. And then oh. she's so gone. The pizza one. That one was. Pizza, that one was good. And then the, the Terminate was the best one though. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Where they like did yeah. the whole Halloween, Halloween performance. Bash, that was that was so. Speaking yeah. of Halloween, you're releasing an album on the 31st. I don't even know if I'm going to get it done. Like, Do you still have songs that are, yeah. like, creating right now? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I know. And I have the college, I have college stuff oh, to do yeah. before. I'll try my best, but I'm hoping to get this out around Halloween. For those of you guys that don't know his name on Spotify or his last name, it's Slump Madi. And speaking of Slump, why don't we talk about the inspiration behind the name as well? So, um, when I used to, uh, like, I was, used, I'm still close with him, but, like, we used to be, like, even closer, uh, I had an upperclassman friend, his name was DeAndre, he, like, uh, he makes, like, you know, music, too, and, like, 
we started making music around the same time and then like every time i'd call him or i'd be with him or like i'd just always be tired i'd sleep anywhere i'd fall asleep and like he would always just be like damn wake up slump Marty. like he would always say slump Marty, and then he it just stuck we talked about this already but mm-hmm. froze out Marty was one what was the other one it was rage it rage was, it was, Marty. but that was the first one that right? was the very first one very that was because one. of a video game i used to play that was that was the name of the game was rage right and then so, froze out was also sub zero <laughs> I used to love playing Sub Zero in Mortal Kombat, and then yeah. And now it's Slump. I like Slump, but I also liked like Frozen Out Maddie. I don't know. I feel like Frozen Out Maddie was like a little childish, like it just a little bit. I thought it was <laughs> good. But I like Slump though. Slump is good. I like Slump a lot better. I With- didn't like Slump at first. Oh really? I really hated it. I like the moment I changed it because when you change it, you can't. Right. I was like, bro, I should not have done this. Everybody was like, bro, what happened to Froze Out? Like everybody, yeah. I was like. It was it was a weird change, but but I think like you introducing slump also kind of in a way introduced a whole different spectrum of music because yeah. you started off with like rapping yeah. and whatnot, and it was you know as you were going on it was more like Lil Uzi vibe, mm-hmm. um, and then all of a sudden like you just released this album that was like rock. It was it was like, really cool. It was really cool. Type, yeah. um, why don't you talk about that one actually? Slump star. Yeah, I'm gonna let you talk about slump star. Okay. So slump star. The first, like, draft of it was, like, I want to say, like, 2020, like, late 2020 was, like, the first mention of the name Slump Star. It's, okay. like, when I first changed my name to Slum Mahdi. I remember my friend Alec, Alec Lynch, yeah. he, like, helps me with, like, a lot of my song names. Like, he named my, like, one of my second albums, Can't Remain the Same. He helped me name that. And then he helped, I don't know how, I don't know if it was him who helped me name Slump Star or if it was Jordan. It was between those two. Mm. But like, uh, like they just like just randomly said it one time, like right. like like uh, like rock star, and then they just put slump, and then I, I don't know, it was like just a name though at right. the time, like it wasn't an album or nothing, and then I started like making a couple songs, <laughs> and then there were like forty songs that I made like that did not make it. Oh time. really? Yeah, there were so many, cause like I don't know, it was just like two years worth of like you know making, and then I finally made the first song when I was sixteen, mm-hmm. Catch Me, mm-hmm. and then it was like it came out good, and I was like okay, and then like I. Started making more and more right. and more different songs, and then right. I the last song I made was "Why Am I So Afraid" when right. I turned seventeen. Right. Um. You said you made forty songs before this. Where are they right now? <laughs> They're in my drive. Just gone. Never to, never just to gone. be seen by nobody. <laughs> never. Imagine if somebody just like happened to open it up and was like, "Oh, what's Rafa this?" Rafa has access to them. Oh, Rafa. Because I'm. It's on his computer. Slothful vibe. That's on YouTube. Yeah. So where is that? Okay. I want to take it down. The only reason I won't. It's because my voice was so high, and it's funny how, like, I, I think sound now. I think it like, shows how you have evolved. Yeah, because yeah. you have, and you still are. Like, yeah. you're still changing, and you're only getting better. Thank um, you. First of all, like, your song that you... He just released a song, like, this month. It's called Missing, and it's your number one song right now on Spotify. I'm looking at it right now. No, I know. It's, like, um, crazy. But in your top five on Spotify, you have... Missing, Field Trip, Tragedy, The Girl Next Door, and Far From Home. Mm-hmm. But what do you think is like, what do you think my belongs favorite? in the top five? Yeah. Far From Home is my favorite song I've ever made. Okay. It's still my favorite song I've ever made. Because like, I don't know, like, it reminds me, like, I don't know, just Spider-Man is my favorite right, superhero. Duh. Like, and the, and the Wolverine, but like, uh, we'll not count that right now. <laughs> um, Spider-Man and Black Panther are con- like, con- like, they're just the best superheroes. And like, I feel like, when I made that song, I wanted it to sound like like the end credit of a Spider-Man movie. So, mm-hmm. like, I just, uh, I don't know. I you had fun making that home. one. Yeah, Jordan made that beat, and I was like, bro, what? Like, it was some crazy stuff. No, because, by the way, if you guys don't know, Jordan is the one that creates, Jordan Payne. Like, he produces the music for him. He's also a senior at WJ. Um, didn't you say that also, Ma- Maddie? Maddie? Madison Lurch. He's- Madison Lurch also creates music for Madi, and these are two incredibly talented people. He like, made the girl next door. So creative. Yeah. The way, first of all, I've mentioned this. Okay, for those of you that don't know, we already like recorded <laughs> a podcast before, but it didn't work out. But um, I mentioned how the girl next door is my favorite song, just because I really liked how maddie like used that music and like remixed it and yeah. how like you had your own version it's how like that was just my favorite huh no, oh she found slothful vibes no no, no. <laughs> let's what? let's save him from the embarrassment uh, that would be tragic <laughs> that <laughs> he was, would walk right out the door <laughs> that was like eighth grade like, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. it oh was look God. at the comments too they're so what like, are the comments wait look at the comments the top comment is 
Dude goes hard. Uh, wait, you want me to read the names or like? The, yeah, just read like like the <laughs> top, the first like the comment with the most likes. Oh shoot. Yep, Robert? Robert. That's a Robert. And then no, no, there's one with Vic, and he's like, my this is so fire. My house burned down. I don't have a family. <gasps> it was like. <laughs> oh my god. It was so funny. <laughs> I remember I made that cover art. I like searched up a tutorial like on YouTube, Aww. and it was like I didn't know how to make cover art, so I just made it. All right, that song. But now, who now, makes your cover arts? Walker's oldest sister made the tracklist to Dead Ranger, and she made the cover art and tracklist to Some Star. She's crazy talented. So like, talented. Like she's she she could also like she she could do so much more. She's just busy with college and stuff, right. and like she like gives me like a free friend discount right like, i like i paid her because i wanted to this time right. she didn't want to take my money it Aww. was yeah but no she's incredibly talented like i was like who who's making this like yeah. who is the one behind well, well, all this? the actual photos like the photos right. of we 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 all planned that out like my friends and i okay. we like all like wore like just like like I just told him to wear like black and gray stuff, right. and like we went to like this abandoned house, right. like in the neighborhood. And we just took pictures just mm-hmm. to see how it would come out. Where did you then, find this abandoned house? It was like in the neighborhood next to Tilden. Oh, we were trying to go to an okay. asylum because we went to an asylum before. Bro, I could never do that. <laughs> we wanted to go there, but like it was like forty minutes away. Right, and it's also in the most racist part of MD. It was like where is it? In Laurel, Ooh. Fort Mute or something Ooh. like that. Honestly, Asylum would have been cool, but yeah. at the same time, I would have been scared. I think like, the Asylum's going to be for Nightmare on Slump Street, like the Halloween one. But, that okay, one. honestly, yeah. like, I'm impressed because, like, how are you guys not scared about anybody else being there, one? No, we, there was one, okay, we walked in, right? And then this was when we went to the abandoned hospital, not the Asylum. Right. This was Glenmont. We walk in, and then, um, like, I'm walking up, and I think, I forgot who's in front of me. It's either James or, uh... Rafa, right? Uh-huh. It's one of them that are walking up above me, and then I'm like, there's a staircase, right? Uh-huh. I need to show you the photo, just so you can, like, see what I'm talking about. We'll try to describe this as much yeah. as possible so you guys know what he's talking about. Nah, but the photo is so scary. It's spooky. Oh, my God, I can't. Oh. Okay, this is the staircase we were walking up from, right? <gasps> no. And the staircase, <laughs> like, it, it's, like, broke. It's, it's broken, no. so we can't go back down. And what I hear, right, is it's just me and James in this building, okay. right? Okay. I see, we see this, this light. Stop, and that's we just, so... Nah, we were freaking out. And Did then, you guys look scream uh, or anything? No, 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 like... no, no, I forgot. It's either James or Rafa, forgive me if, I, <laughs> if I'm mistaken. What, they grab me and they're like, do you see that? I don't know what's going on at right. the time. And then, and then, and then I see a light and then it goes from this and it just turns off. Oh, no, 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 And then I'm like, I'm like. No, bro, like, then, I'm sweating just, and, like, hearing that. And then we're like, yo, what, what is that? And then, and then, and then, and then we just, we staircase oh, go stop. down. I literally can't do and that. And then we go down, and it's just, it's just these two kids. They're just oh. looking around. They're doing the same oh. thing as us. They okay. just didn't speak English. They only oh. speak Spanish. Oh. And they were like, oh, we're just, we're just taking photos. And we're like, oh. Okay. Oh my god, because imagine if this, it was somebody else, y'all scared like the hell out of us. My god. That shit, that was, it was it was really scary. But, um but yeah, I mean yeah. this is where he takes all the cool photos. He yeah. Like, visits abandoned places. But I wanna know like, are you ever gonna do something that's like not as spooky? Or are you gonna do something more hype? Like Yeah. I think I think mind? this summer I wanna do something like happy. Summer vibe. Yeah. Like I was trying to do that. Okay, so when I dropped Frozen Paradise, I came up with this like bad idea it was gonna be <laughs> summer paradise it was, okay, it, was, okay. it was gonna be a summer one right and okay. it was, but like obviously i didn't do it for obvious reasons right. and then um i think i'm gonna make something like that though yeah but like obviously not that this summer i know you told me that your favorite movie is also teen, teen beach. beach yeah so. so that's why i made end of summer right. so maybe end of summer could lead on to like i don't know i was thinking of making maybe making like a second part to slump star you like, could, honestly. And then, like, the first song would be Start of Summer Since the Last is End. I don't oh, know. I don't know. I get that. Yeah. Uh, you said you worked on End of Summer. Didn't you say you weren't going to publish that I one, I was not. Actually? And then I showed it to my friend Zade, and he was like, like, you need to drop this. Yeah. And I was like, nah. I was like, because I did it as a joke. Like, I, right. I, I, I just got bored because I finished all my songs, mm-hmm. and I was like, I'm, you know, I'm just going to make this, like, right. one. Because, like, it sounded like a... I don't know. I just like the way the beat. I like the beat. I really did like, like the beat. I was like, it was like what? silly, but like it was. It's not like it's Team Beach movie, right. so I was like, I tried um, it out. Also, I'm looking at your Spotify right now, and I'm looking mm-hmm. at the different albums and the singles. Oh yeah, um, <laughs> there's a couple that don't need to be there. Honestly, let's talk about "Can't Remain the Same." 
Because I feel like this is where... I changed. You changed. Yeah. yeah, this is where the game changed. Because before that, you know, obviously he made music. and Dead Ranger cool, was not good. But it just, like, I feel like it wasn't as in-depth as, like, Can't Remain the Same was, you mm-hmm. know? And you opened up and you kind of... You were more authentic with your lyrics, I feel like. So, like, Can't Remain the Same, Um, this was, like, after, like, uh, like, a, like some event that happened to me in, like, October-ish, 2020, and, like, this was, like, before, like, this was, no, this was after, like, Frozen Paradise and mm-hmm. after Dead Ranger, mm-hmm. and then, like, uh, that's when I, like, I was not, I was gonna, like, stop music for a little bit, because, mm-hmm. like, I don't know, I just, I just wasn't, like, feeling it at the time, and then right. I just started, like, clicking with Jordan, like, more and more, and then, mm-hmm. like, he just, like, kept sending me beats, and I was, like, like, I might just, you know, I'm just gonna keep, like, I'm gonna just keep writing, obviously, yeah. but I'm probably not gonna release right. any for a while. And then the song started coming out good and stuff, and I was like, hold on, like, and then me and him had an idea to just drop an album together, yeah. and I was like, you know what, I'll just drop it. And then, like, me and Alec came up with a name, because I was like, he was like, you're going, there's, like, a lot of changes that are happening throughout, like, you and, like, your friend's life, your family's life, so yeah. you should, we should do something along the lines. I still probably have the DMs. And then it was like, can't remember the same, came up, and then, yeah, we just, I just released a bunch of songs that I thought would be, you know, different from dead Mm -hmm. ranger i want it to be as different from dead ranger as Mm -hmm. possible so yeah i keep hearing like your friends names and i'm just assuming that like your friends are probably your best supporters out there like your number ones yeah um besides them like what would you say keeps you inspired to make music like how do you come up with different lyrics how do you stay creative i feel like high school helps like like high school sucks so like (laughs) so it, it makes it easier and like when i don't have anything to do i do something I like doing, which is making music, and um, I don't know, like writing the creative, like the different process and steps to making a song is just fun to me. Like yeah, the lyrics, the beat, then the mixing, and then finding out if it's good or not. No, yeah, and the feeling when you're like, like wow, like if I drop this, this is gonna be crazy. I also like write a little bit, but mm-hmm. for me, I know that when I write music, it just kind of like sometimes it happens randomly, like out of the blue, and like it just hits you, and you're like, oh, I just want to make music right now. Yeah. And then like all of a sudden, like yeah, you're in the group, and just, nothing can stop you. But then you get something called a rhymer's block. Like, yes. You get like you, you can't writer's like, block. Writer's it's block. The block worst it's thing ever. horrible. You can't like think of anything, and like Jordan gets that for his beats too. He doesn't make beats from. I'm like that right now. Like <laughs> really? I can't come up with anything right now. You like, gotta get out of it eventually. I know, like how? I think what I helps know? me. Is listen to music. Listen to music. That yeah. helps me all the time. I can't lie, cause I'm like, dang, like, like they can do it. Like, yeah, right. Like, no. I should be able to do it easily too. But um, you could also like take their music and kind of use similar beats, yeah, and similar you... sounds, and just manipulate it a little more <laughs> to make it like. It just like more unique. other music always helps. Yeah, always. When you're releasing these albums and these songs and everything, <laughs> do you ever have that fear of like people not liking it? And yeah. how do you get over that fear? I don't I can't lie like <laughs> end of summer I didn't I when I, I did not want to release it right. like I still didn't think people would like it but when I dropped it like like I think it was like number one for a week because like people like like was like they were just surprised and I didn't know if it was a good surprise but then like people started like saying how much they liked it right. and like I guess like when I dropped that and people liked it I kind of like got rid of that fear mm-hmm. like 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 if I like if I if people really like it and I think it's pretty like good then I'm gonna do it I'm gonna drop it yeah, because Slum Star was definitely like a experimental. game changer. Like it was experimental, experimental. for you, but yeah. it just shows that like you always have to try something different. Yeah. You always have, you never know if it's gonna be good or bad, but like you might as well try something new rather than just never doing it and regretting it. But also, I just want to talk about the names of the albums and the names of the songs. Mm-hmm. Who comes up with those? Me, <laughs> like sometimes Jordan, but mostly me. It depends. Like, I'm trying to think of a song. Uh, can't Remain the Same. Can't Remain the Same. I'm trying to think of songs in there that Jordan came up with. I don't know. He didn't really come up with... He usually... So I can the, give you a few. Yeah, the beats he usually sends me have their own name. And oh. I just change it. Like, oh, like, so he names yeah, them. And then... So, like, if you're, like, curious, like, like the beat of, like, Up to No Good, that was called Composure. Oh, yeah. okay. Jordan named that, though. So you get, like, two different sides of, like what it could have been named like mm-hmm. i'm trying to think of something else would it catch me that beat that was called swat team i oh. don't know it was like because if you listen to just the beat it's just like it's just like everywhere like it's yeah just, that makes uh, sense though. yeah so. you have 11 songs on dead ranger can't remain the same can't remain the same and dead ranger 12 right 
Yeah. Okay. Well, you do some research. Like, you know, like, I literally, last time, he was like, I don't know anything about Spotify. Or <laughs> but you literally told us how you also look at people who have added your songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, so that, that, that was like... You guys are not safe out there. Just no, nah, I can see. I can see. I'm in. I'm in a shower playlist. No, yeah, <laughs> you're in a shower. Playlist. I'm in it, and it's the most like random song to be in a shower to. Too. Oh my god! It's, it's like <laughs> which one is it? It's half alive. Like oh. that one is not a shower. Like that's like a. And you know who it is? I don't know who it is. I just know the name of the playlist. The name of the playlist. Like, like it's just, so just, you can it's, guess who it is. Like you make. I can like if I if they're my friend I can. Right. You can see like the uh, like. Three other songs. <gasps> That's so scary, though. Like, I is it that scary? <laughs> well, sometimes some people put certain things. It's like yeah. Nah. Especially like playlist names. Like I have so many playlists that are like privated because I I'm so. Okay, we can't see privated playlists. Okay. I don't yeah. think so. I was gonna say. <laughs> Actually, no. I think we can't. We just. Can't I mean, see if the it's name. your song. Yeah, I think we can. It's not loading, but it's it's pretty funny. It's 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 like a shower playlist, and it's like. Like I think it's like Young Thug in it too. Like I don't know. It's like just random artists. <laughs> I'm sorry if you're the person, but, uh, just, but like it's, it's funny to me. Um, but no, it just kind of shows how like you're more connected to your audience. What are some things that it's kind of getting deep? No lie. Um, but what are some things that you would you worry about in terms of like success or being able to come up with new music? Like, what are what are some things that you're kind of afraid of and like how do you get over that fear? Like, like, if, like, none of, like, the music stuff work out, that's, like, obviously my biggest fear. But, like, that's why I'm also going to college for, like, studying under cinematography because mm -hmm. I, I do like movies, too. And, mm -hmm. like, so if that doesn't fail, like, I have one guaranteed thing that's going to work because, like, I think, I, I think I'd be pretty good at, like, mo with movies and stuff because mm -hmm. I've taken classes and, I don't know, I just like movies. Like, I like the way, like, I like directing it. I like, I've come up with, like, multiple drafts in my head. I have a couple of documents where, like, I have, like, a storyboard of, like, a movie. Oh. I have an, I have an idea for the asylum. Too. Oh, really? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Um, how do you, like, balance everything off? Like, between making music, to being a student, to working a job? Like, how do you make time I'm be for honest, those different things? I don't things? know, bro. Like, you I don't, don't know. know. Like, <laughs> like, I'm not doing well, bro. Like, it's, it, it's, it gets tiring. Like, it's, like, because, like, work is, like, like, work is two times a week now, like, with the weekend, too. Was it more often before that? Yeah, summer. Uh, college college is, like, right now. It's right, like, for everyone it's right me. now. Yeah, it's killing It's us, killing right? everyone right now. Yeah, and then, like, music. That's why I'm also worried I won't get this album out in time. Right. So, to be honest with you, I don't balance it well. I'm not, I'm going to be honest. Like, well, I try to. I mean, you're doing it, kind yeah, of. Kind of. <laughs> a word of advice. I'm not doing applications, so this is hypocritical of me. But, um... Just really trying to dedicate time to um, creating schedules, like not necessarily schedules, but like what are they called? They're like reminders. Not reminders. Yeah, Routines. it's like it's like a book, like a journal. Agenda. Agenda. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but creating an agenda because I used to not do that last year, and oh, it was bad. Like I couldn't look at my grades without like crying. Like I couldn't do it. Um, but, yeah, I mean, creating an agenda actually helps a lot. And, like, just looking at it, always getting ahead, too. Um, I should probably do that, too. But it helps. It actually genuinely helps. The bell just rang. So I think that this is kind of a good time for us to end it here. Honestly, we should do more follow-up sessions. Because yeah. I think that this is really important to follow up with artists, especially in the school. Like, I don't – I'm sure there are other artists there in the are, school. There is this one. Who? Dan. Um they they're like pretty shy though like Aww. like like i always tell them that their music is good right but like, wait i think i know here sando socks yes wait yes. no stop because yes. i listen to their music if they're listening to this they're, i listen to they're gonna music. be on my album like nightmare on some Sheet. that's crazy yeah, oh my god they're so good no they're really and, good and but like every time like like i told like you i told you all right like i think i told you all like in an interview mm -hmm. about them and then like Dan reached out to me and she and she and they like they were like, did you tell people about like like my songs? Mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, because it's good. And, right. And then Dan said like, um, don't do that. And I'm, <laughs> but like do that. Like she like she, I don't know. She alters back and forth. Right. But they're very talented. Would you just say that they're like shy about it? Yes. 
Mm. Yes, mm. extremely. Mm. Well, but. hopefully I'll be able to interview them as well. Like, interview them and you, maybe at the same time as well, since mm-hmm. you guys are collaborating. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I just think it's really important for everyone to kind of understand who the people at WJ are and what everyone else is doing. Mm-hmm. And I just want to say, Madi, thank you for joining me today. Thank you, too. All right. See you guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>